Metallica was formed in 1981 in Los Angeles. Guitar playing singer James Hetfield and Danish drummer Lars Ulrich founded the band. The two teenagers combined influences from British heavy metal bands with a tempo of hard rock punk and Motorhead. You know, when I started Metallica with James and we were just very into kind of doing our own thing, there was no other bands in America at that time that were really doing what we were doing. We're writing music that we want to hear. It's simple. It's really simple. After a debut demo and some very well-received shows, guitarist Kirk Hammett joined the band in 1982. I come from a, a generation of musicians that valued spontaneity and valued improvisation. Metallica became known for their fury and often complex song structure and serious lyrics. I will, at times, sit down and just write out stream of consciousness. I, I think the one thing that makes me proud mostly when people talk about Metallica's music is that it's got a sound all its own. Kill Em All was a groundbreaking thrash metal album. Metallica had introduced a new genre to the world. So tonight we have fun together with some new songs and old songs. But what made Metallica's fan base expand beyond comprehension was the album Master of Puppets. It remains one of the most influential heavy metal albums of all time. Master. Their first music video also underscored Metallica's thorough uniqueness. It's four people playing music together that are passionate about what they do. And when the four of us play together, something is created that, that is, is greater than the, the individual parts. Well, the riff came to me about three o'clock in the morning. And you know, this was like 1989. It's always been my intent as well to write a riff that just gets into your head and doesn't come out. Lars heard it and then suggested that, you know, just repeat the first part like uh, four times instead of once. And then the, that riff was born. The album Metallica or better known as The Black Album, is one of the biggest selling albums of all time. It brought Metallica up to the entire mainstream's attention. And nothing else matters. Hey, hey, I'm your life. I'm no one who takes you there. Then, the band stepped away from its typical metal sound in the mid-90s. Just like the curse, just like the stray. I guess for me, it's just always been about uh, pushing the, the creative boundaries, never accepting the status quo, never accepting that everything has to be one way. I think the anger comes from, whew, uh, a lot of it is a defense mechanism. You know, it is. That's my first reaction to most things. One of the things that's interesting about, um, you know, the music of Metallica is for the most part it ages well. Robert Trujillo joined Metallica when the band was going through changes. Yes. 
Death Magnetic in 2008 was the perfect fusion of Metallica's early past and their increasingly experimental future. With Hardwired to Self-Destruct, Metallica was back to its roots of thrash metal, the genre they created 35 years ago. Today, Metallica is known as one of the best and biggest live acts in the world. When you're on stage with a band like Metallica and you just can really feel, depending on the venue, it's like, it's always going to be magic. Connection with the crowd is extremely important. They are the fifth member, as we call them. I enjoy watching them release their whatever it is as well. I get to see that. That is part of the joy I get. The 2018 Polar Music Prize is awarded to the American band Metallica. Not since Wagner's emotional turmoil and Tchaikovsky's canons has anyone created music that is so physical and furious, and yet still so accessible. Through virtuoso ensemble playing and its use of extremely accelerated tempos, Metallica has taken rock music to places it had never been before. In Metallica's world, both a teenage bedroom and a concert hall can be transformed into a Valhalla. The strength of the band's uncompromising albums has helped millions of listeners to transform their sense of alienation into a superpower. We're very appreciative um, to, to be this year's winners of the uh, Polar Music Prize. So it's uh, very cool and we're, we, we look forward to uh, coming in the middle of the summer to Sweden, Stockholm, and uh, being a part of all this. So thank you very much. Hey there, all four of us here are Metallica. Metallica. And we are extremely proud, grateful, and honored to be this year's recipients of the Polar Music Prize. Thank you very much. Talk some music. Talk.